Mr. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Karen. This is the JK Show, and it's our first episode. And we're, we're bringing it to you raw and live with a punchy edge. And today's topic, we've selected hockey. It is Saturday night. Many Canadians are gathered around their TV at the the uh, paying homage to the gospel of hockey, but we're going to give it to you straight. You know what? Giving it to me straight, I'm tired of people saying, I'm your friend. Come on down. Buddy, I know your kid. He's a good hockey player. I what really I want, want him on my team. I want him on my team. You come down, you waste your 50 bucks. Buddy, you didn't have a spot. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know you were going on vacation next week. Yep. And uh, how about the kids when they go out to hockey and they're, they're benched? Well, and they end up not enjoying it very much. It's supposed see to this, be... See this scarf? <laughs> That's how I feel, Karen. That's how I feel. Some I'm, of the coaches out there are just ridiculous. Taking the money from people. Let me tell you something. I had a coach on one of the teams that plays hockey. My son played a hockey team. And he took the guy's money. And the day before they were supposed to go on a trip, kid never went anywhere. Single parent. A lot of money. And he said, sorry, you're cut. Before they went on the trip? The they kid didn't was crushed. How old was get... the kid? How old was the kid? He's Jen? an older boy. A lot older. A lot wow. older boy. Wow. That's just low. Surprising. That's just low. Surprising. That's just low. Okay. So how? when did you start in the hockey hockey journey, Jen? Well, my son is a little bit older. So. You're a little bit wiser. Yeah. You're talking because I'm fat? No, no, no. I'm just saying you're a little oh. bit wiser. You, you, I thought you, you said wider. I got, I got a hair more. problem. You My hair's like all fuzzed no, up today. No, no, you look good. You look real good, Jen. So how long have you been at this hockey journey? Batting your head up against the wall saying, how do, you, how do I get out of here? Well, I'm very boisterous. And I have a lot to say. No shit, Sherlock. So, <laughs> <laughs> even if I don't know what I'm saying, I I'll can say it, anyway. say it anyway. And it sounds good because I'll yeah. hear myself talk. Okay. <laughs> So since my son was little, he used to skate around. Like, so cute. And I'd be like, who cares? What's a big deal? He can skate around the ice. Yeah. Everybody else is freaking out that he can make it around the rink. I'm like, yeah, what's a big deal? But Could unfortunately, skating is key. Skating is absolutely critical. So, hey, what are we going to do? Okay, so you've been in it. You're, he's 18 now, I think? Or coming yeah, he's on coming 18? on 18. He's been skating since he's two, so he's a phenomenal skater. Hands down. Look at these hands. Hey, look how cute I look. Hey. Oops. Smooth go. like butter, right? His That's hands it. are smooth like butter now. And I've been in it not quite as long as you, but getting a little long in the tooth. I got a 14-year-old and I got a 9-year-old that I've been going Oh, shit. I was it. supposed to say H. Let me tell you. I got oh, a 34-year-old. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you look. Yeah. Yeah. Black yeah. don't crack, so it's okay. I got a 28 coming up and a 27 and a 23 and an 18. And I think you also got a grandchild. Yes, I do. She's 12. And is she a skater? Is she a hockey player? She's a basketball and a volleyballer. So you, if we don't just have to talk hockey. We oh, no, talk we're, multi-sports. We today are multi-sports. We're, today we're talking about people ripping people off. That's what we should be talking about. Or selling them the dream. Right I now. I mean, they wrote about a book. They wrote that book, Selling the Dream. And everybody talks at the arenas. They go, hey, psst, 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 have you read that book, Selling the Dream? You know what? How much we're money talking to you about did they the make? Dream? How much money did they make on that book? $40,000 in two months? Now, we need to write a book. There are, codes. <laughs> there are codes in hockey. One of them is the 24-hour rule. So basically, you're supposed to zip it up and not say anything if you find that your child is being abused, forgotten, neglected, or downright kicked into the trenches. What do you say about mm -hmm. the 24-hour rule? Have you ever, like, lost it and said well, something Well, we did have one coach who said, you know what, your kid didn't play and he's benched. 24-hour rule doesn't work. Well, what do you do? I just go up to him. I don't care who you are. Yeah, you man, I me did 20. that once, too. Uh, be patient. You know what? When people are out there doing nonsense to kids, bullying them, look at all the molesters that are out there. And you're coaching hockey, and you get the nerve to put your name back in your face at the hockey club? Listen, I know what's happening behind those closed doors. So when I see you, you know. I mean, we need to, we need to stand up and say... Hockey is a sport. It's supposed to be for fun. We're supposed to develop them. And then the why are the coaches bullying the kids? I was just listening to somebody today who told me their son didn't play for ten minutes because he put the puck in the wrong direction and it, it didn't, even, didn't even didn't even go. The kid didn't even get his point. He just went over the blue line and the coach said, "Okay, Johnny, come back over here and, sit and wouldn't let him play for ten minutes." And the parents were furious and they came and they told me. I've got parents who call me and say, "Hey, I went to a skate last week. The coach told me come back tomorrow." Hmm, but he didn't pick me. Yeah. Come well, back tomorrow. And then he said, you know what? 
I'm going to call my friend who's a lower coach and put you there. Why bother? Go through all the aggravation. Why are you lying to her? Just say, your kid ain't available to play on my team, and I don't want him. And go to another Move team. Move on. Move on. Or how about those guys that are taking all those kids' money? Come and train with me. Come and train with me. You know what? So if you, I've been training with you for six months, seven months, and you've been taking my 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks every time, and you don't pick me when it's time to pick a team, I got a problem with you. I, why are you so <laughs> so I'm not allowed to say it because the hockey the hockey journey is a very long one, and you don't want to have enemies along Listen, the way. Listen, these parents have got Everybody's, a lot of money. Everybody's all kissing Let, each oh, other's butt. Way, we, They're kissing yeah, each other's butt. Like, we could be, be friends, but we ain't here to be friends right now. We're here to be enemies. I'm the ice. You do what you got to do. In the parking lot, we could be friends. That's true. In the parking lot, we could be friends. But just yeah. don't get caught drinking and driving. By, yeah, by no, no, drink, no tailgate drinking. Part. No tailgate We're gonna, parties. we're gonna make our. We, we want to say some other little things in our podcast that we want to make some of these. Um, um, uh, what do you call those things that my son said? Like the social media ones. Oh, those yeah. uh, PSAs. Oh. PSAs. Oh, yeah. We 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 do not promote drinking and driving. The big hockey oh, world. Yeah. Hey, PSA: Drink and drive. Hey, pull up They're to all any. Doing it. Pick up to any hockey it. arena during They're the day all... when you got like. Police and firemen, you got the workers at the construction site, they're all having hockey, they're all drinking. Every oh, and day. let's not forget about the chain smoking out in front of the arena. Even yeah. though they got those big ass signs that do say, not smoke. Do not smoke. 90 there meters in front. Here. 90 meters. 90 meters. There's athletes here. Meanwhile, the guy's standing right in front of the door. Chain smoking because they're all nervous about oh, how Johnny's going to be a net. Give me a beer. Johnny's not doing too good today. <laughs> I'm sorry for anybody who has a son named Johnny because, you know, I just use Johnny as a Johnny. As an example. It could be Peter. It could be Dick. Oh, sorry. Dick was a name in the 50s. Oh, I'm sorry. Could Move be Charles on. or Harry. Could be Charles. Here. Now it's Ethan and Evan and. Who knows? Tag and chase. You know. If, chase, if we, tag, if, chase, tag, chase, 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 At least we're wild. You know what? Wild and out. This is what the shit. Actually, we should have called the name of this thing wild and out. Wild and out. Because you're crazy and I'm wild. So we're hey, are you wild I'm and I'm crazy. crazy. I'm just. Are you I'm crazy just, and I'm wild and I'm wild and you crazy? Because people are going to see us and say, oh my God, those two. Oh and how God. did we meet, Jen? Let's just get right down Honey, to it. Honey. Hockey. We met, we met at a hockey rink. And it was like. Instant bam. You two girls like, think the same. Oreo. Yeah, pretty much. Cream between. You know <laughs> what it is. That's how it is. So and if you guys have any more questions that you need, just call us. <laughs> call us. The Real Live Hockey pa- hockey Podcast. Hockey Night in Canada. J&K. That's the it. Just Kidding Show. The J&K Show. We're, we're real. We're live. Listen, we're Memorex. I understand we you got a bunch of dads that are out there probably saying, shut up. What do you know about hockey? I'm going to tell you, I know your kid ain't that good, and you paid the coach all that Dirty money. Dirty money under the table. Listen to this story. I got to tell you a story. This is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this, but it's so <laughs> Because funny. hockey drives you to do that. One of the guys I know was a goalie. I got a lot of stories. I can talk you guys under the tree. And I'm sure you all know who you're talking about, especially if you're looking at this podcast. You know I'm talking about you. Yeah, okay, right, so, cool. so here right. we go. Right, bring it on in. So one guy, he come out to skate, because I, I, I'm I, around the hockey world a little bit. And I talk to a lot of people, because I help other until kids. until this podcast gets Until it gets up, right? <laughs> so while I'm out there, I'm like, wow, this is great. Talk here, go here, this is good. Your kid looks nice, but I'm honest. What do I know? I'm a woman that has five kids, and my kid plays hockey a lot. My kid's not benefiting from anything like this, right? So what I'm going to tell you is, a goalie came to me, who my son was skating with and friends, and he said, hey, I got on a team, I'm so excited. However, the coach wants 18000 by Monday. And it was like Friday night. I'm like, what? He goes, 18 k I was like, what is 18 k I'm leaving my phone like, 18 k what does that mean? That translates as I'm not a that smart, lot of th- bags of milk. A lot of bags of milk. So 18 k he wanted 18 k 18 k What is 18 In 48 hours. In 48 hours. For his, son to, to his son to get a spot. And I was like, what the heck? $18,000? A, a junior team? No, this is just a triple A team. No way. Yeah. And when the dad called me, you know what it was? He saw him driving Mercedes Benz and a Tesla. He said, this guy's got money he's going to pay. His kid won't play. And guess what? He almost paid the money. And you know who you are. I don't even need to tell you who you are. And I, you know what team it is. A lot of coaches wow. in there being deep in their pocket. Wow. And get that pocket money out. I've heard these stories. I mean, I'm a single mom, Jen, that's been trying to do the shuffle, the hockey shuffle, get the two bags in the car, and and uh, everybody tells me, you want to get your kid on a Listen, team? There's money I'm married, flies everywhere. I'm married, and my husband paid a <laughs> lot of money 
for my son to train sometimes. Because he puts himself out there and he goes with his little knowledge that he knows. And I talk a lot. So my son's been to like the top hand guys and the foot guys and this guy and that guy. They're all good. There's nobody that's not good. There's just perfect and professional. You know, you choose your cookies. You go for what you can afford. Do you think it's worth doing a hockey gym? Like, what? What, what has your son gotten out of doing a hockey? I mean, that's. A, I mean, we can run it down. We can say we know it's there's corruption, or we believe there's corruption. We believe there's corruption. We, we believe there may be corruption. Yeah, I've but never you know actually what? seen oh, I haven't the actually, I haven't actually haven't over. seen. But so I, I, I can tell you that it's uh, like the the urban myth that there's corruption. Right, in hockey. and I totally agree with it because you don't hear this stuff. You can't make this stuff up. This is shit you shit can't up. make up. When people are phoning me, because I'm in like a couple of industries where people call me and they ask me questions a lot, right? So, sorry, when they ask me a lot of questions. And yeah, then I, I say, what happened? Where? Or the coach wouldn't give you your money back? They kicked you off oh, the yeah. team and no refund? And they hold you up for 25 days? Or they hold you up for two months? Wow. Come on, buddy. Really? 25 bucks because you want to have to show face and show, hey, I'm, look at me, I'm so but, cool. So do you think it's worth it, the hockey journey? Like, what is your son, my son the boy that you have now? My son in is... Do you think he's inspired. benefited from hockey? He, he loves hockey. <laughs> right now he loves hockey. When he was younger, my son couldn't care about hockey. What does he love about it? He Let's loves... Let's get down to the positives here. It's not see. all negative and corruption and No, gross. no, 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 no. It's not all, it's not all about the badness. It's no, about... No, my it's son is... goodness or we all wouldn't of, be talking of, about it on this a podcast. A sense of, hey, you know what? Where can I go? Where can I be? My son... Is sometimes a fabulous people say hockey skater. is life, life is hockey. No. What do you think about that, Jen? Life is hockey? Well, my son goes to school. Okay. Right? And when he goes to school, he's worried or thinking about his next hockey game, next skate, next practice, how he's going to train, how he's going to perform. He's got a problem right now with his skates. How am I going to get my skates fixed? My skates broke. They were defective. I got them from a company. What? Unnamed I, company? Yes. We don't want company. to have a PSA about it, but an unnamed company? And then I contacted this company, and they told me, you don't know take where we are. We, you don't know where we are, Stand and in line, take a number. I will get back to you on that. And I said, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I know where you are. And they explained to me that I wouldn't know where they were. The woman was so nice. <laughs> oh, she was killing me with kindness. When you and showed she, up? When I showed up at the door. And they're going to correct the problem. So, hey, how you doing? You know? But Jen's my son here. loves hockey to the point that he's really focused at going to school for hockey. Right? He's going to go to school. You and know? it gives him goals and ambition yeah. and drive and yeah. desire. What about, has he learned how to spot bad situations and good situations? Absolutely. What do you think? Do you think his emotional intelligence is yes, heightened Yes, because my son, you know this? what? You learn a lot from hockey because there's a lot of idiot coaches out there. Everybody's got a dad or an uncle or a cousin. And hey, you're picking your own kid over my kid. I feel my kid might be better than your kid. Or your kid might be better than my kid. You don't know. So as a, as a life experience, even though the coach may be putting you down and telling you you're not good, you're too slow, you need fast feet, you have heavy hands. It could just be the nepotism. Correct. But like in the real world, nepotism does reign supreme. Correct. So if I, I mean, am, there are there are certain foreign countries where you don't go anywhere unless you're part of that inner circle and dictators, <coughs> yeah, etc. Yeah. So you know, yeah. Well, maybe this is ho what, maybe this, hockey is life. Yeah, maybe but this nepotism is, what I'm to say. is how life you know what? actually I, works. I can bring up maybe some, it actually is the people that have more money actually do get ahead. Like, whoa, whoa. What I'm do bring, you think about that? Yeah, but I'm gonna bring maybe up a story because it's not meritocracy. I'm sorry. I don't live in a saltwater pool area. You see me living in a saltwater pool no, area? No, I don't see that. I don't see that. So no. you don't see that. But no. Oh, you know what? My saltwater pool area, let's invite our neighbors. Because we can have great spooch. And we can have great barbecues. And we can have great trips to Florida and Bahamas and Morocco or wherever the hell you want to go. You know what? Some people are just there for the fun. One year, I'm going to tell you. You guys, oh, this would be so I fun. It. I can tell you the story. This would be hilarious. The moms and the dads are in it for hockey. It's not about the kids for sometimes. But my son loves hockey. My husband doesn't really care about going to it, but he likes hockey. Okay? He's a hockey, hockey dad. Right? He's not a oh, yellow. Not just simply a me. hockey dad. Now we need a new t-shirt that says hockey, hockey, hockey dad. dad. We're going to create that. HHD. You, you can mess with us and we can get it for you. Because we yeah. can hook it up. <laughs> so we can even get ball. One cards. of the moms at hockey, the hockey and hockey tournaments, they love it. You know, 
she was all into the drinking, getting drunk. She's laying on the bed like a starfish. She's like, whoa, where are you, where are you going? Up the hill. We're here for a hockey tournament, not for a fish and fruit, fly. Fruit. <laughs> no fruit. So fruit. some people are just here for fun. My personal son loves hockey. He does his skates all the time. He's always got a stick sanding it, taping it, measuring it. Uh, he's always skating. He's training hard. Uh, he's out on the road, like stick handling. And if, let's, he's let's, on the let's, ice. Let's give top ten hockey lessons for the beginners. Okay, top the newbies, ten. The newbies that are stepping in. Or maybe should that be in podcast number two? What do you think? We can touch a little bit on it because we okay, want to go wild. And now we're we talking yeah, about we a bunch of stuff. Wild. We might have to we, step back a little we, bit yeah, because no, this okay. was a little bit crazy. Top ten lessons for a newbie. What would you say? Top ten. Lesson number one. Okay, I say top ten lesson number one would remember be... Remember the equipment. Yes, remember, remember your, all the equipment. 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 Rule number two. It's sometimes nice to carry an extra neck guard. Because yeah, kids are always forgetting a yeah, neck Yeah, but you know guard. what? That's part of responsibility. It well, is part of let's responsibility. Let's make that responsibility. It ain't my problem your kid forgot a neck guard because when my foot falls up because I don't have a skate and cut your neck, then who's problem is that with me? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do about that? Oh, Mom, I forgot my jock. Oh, well, I guess you didn't want a penis wow. this week. Like, what's going on? You can't even skate. Like, what's happening? I don't understand. My mom did it. Can I have a dirty... Can I get a water bottle? And then you open the water bottle, and there's, like, black mold on the inside. Like, what is going on here? Like, we're not... No, We have no name, Z. We have no name water, just in case. We don't my want... My mom to, did it. How about you, t you pick up your own socks and you... Be, did you make your bed today, Sai? Okay, I want to tell you something that really did ticks me off. Did you make your bed today, This si? is another thing, too, that really ticks me off, top ten things. Kids should not come to hockey with mismatched clothes because it makes your parents look bad very bad because it makes me look like the house is a mess I don't know where my stuff is I go there and I'm frantic because I can't find your hockey sock then I look like an idiot and I'm only that's true. Okay, that's that, reflect hey, hey, let, let me bed. back out for a second that is not me no. that is somebody else I'm we have it all under control I'm telling you that somebody else because I see that all the time mom I my sick well that's not my problem mom I don't have a jock this one's too small it could uh, be that big overnight. Yeah, that's it. What the heck? What were they thinking? And we got all these people coming from all over. Everybody wants to skate. Everybody and their brother wants to skate now. Everybody wants ice. Hey, I'm professional. My son just came from Europe, and we want to skate here with the Canadians, and we want to be in Canada. And your son forgot his jock? And he forgot his jock. And he forgot his hockey stick. Oh, we came here. Can I get my money back? There's no refund. Hockey, there's no refund. I don't care what club, what skating company, so what newbie? team, what team you go to, what club you join. What practice you've went to, what skate you've got, there's no refund. That should be the biggest thing. That should be the number one thing. No, no refund. refund. Oh, right? show up on time. Be on time. Do not ever be late for anything in hockey. Because yeah. if you do, the other 19 or 17 people are going to be in the room and be like, ooh, there's you. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Oh, I want to say something else. I know I'm a little bit off topic, but we have to get back on something. One of my people called me the other day and told my me peeps. this. Hey, this is what they said. Their kid went to a hockey trial. And this is another reason you can't bully people in the change room. This is another 10 top thing. Do not bully people. Do not bully. Because you bullying somebody might cause you injury. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, it might cause you an injury. Because two things. They went to the hockey tryout. And when they got to the hockey tryout, another boy saw him. And they friends. Or supposed to be friends from the same school. You know, they're buddies. And he said, hey. What are you doing here? And, and the boy says, I'm here for a tryout? I said, what? You know we ain't black because my son would have been like, I'm here to take your spot. <laughs> and I'm going to do it. Right? And what about this? Hey, I want to play hockey. I want to play a year up and show you guys that think you know something. Huh. But those guys, when you go to practice with a year up, guys, Ooh. they don't want those guys a little bit younger. <laughs> no matter what level of hockey you play. Double, triple, single. You get a guy coming into your rink who's a year younger. He's showing you up. He's lighting up the ice, buddy. He's making you look so bad that you try to light him up. Boy, you know there's a problem when the coach got to stop the practice. You know there's a problem when the coach has to stop and the practice. And if that's during a tryout, you know you don't want that kid on your team. You know what I mean? Making you look bad and you're older. You have to respect responsibility, be on time, come with game. There was no friends in hockey. There's not one person that's your friend. No matter how much they come for dinner, birthdays, private, you work with them, there's no friends. I always tell everybody that I know who knows me, 
It's like ring around the rosy. There's only one chair and I want it. It's my puck. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed the inaugural uh, podcast of the J&K Show. Jen, Karen, hockey moms, sports moms, loving moms, tough moms. But that's only today. The next one will be a a better topic. What's better than hockey, Jen? Do I have to tell you? Do I have to tell you? It's been a while, Jen. That's okay. Did you hear her? (laughs) <laughs> Are we going to get the broccoli now? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. <laughs> Lights out now. Okay. Lights thanks. out. He lit it up. They lit it up. Lights right. out. Top corner. Hey, Top you know what? Who, hey, I got to say something. Who needs Tim and Sid when you got J and K? J and K. Bang.